Hello friends and happy equinox. It's the autumn equinox for us here in the Northern Hemisphere and the spring equinox for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere. But we both share the same experience of being midway between summer and winter. This is a time of balance across the planet where days and nights are equal length. A time to embrace that energy of balance within. Neither one thing nor another, but somehow both. That's why I'm wearing black and white. <laughs> Yin and yang, outer expression and inner contemplation in perfect balance. So this is a really powerful time to contemplate what brings you balance in your life. How can you find more balance in your life between action and stillness, between work and play, between self and other? Balance within and without. I'm going to share this song with you, a pretty new song. I just wrote it this year. It'll be on my next album. It's called Whatever is Big, Whatever is Small. The easiest way for me to come back to a point of center. Like, a, like when a pendulum is swinging this way and that way and this way and that way. And if you let it be, that movement becomes smaller and smaller until stillness, center. So it's good to know what brings you that feeling of centeredness and to make sure that you include time for that in your life. For me, it's time in nature. It's gentle observation of the world around me without any kind of feeling like I have to or that this is for anything other than just being present with nature. For me, that's my quickest and easiest and most joyful way to come back to my sense of center, of balance, of harmony, of inner peace. And from inner peace, of course, we can then radiate that out to the world around us, which is so necessary at this time. But it's got to start here in our hearts. This is a point of balance. Our heart chakras, three chakras above, three chakras below. This here, our hearts, our place of love, where we give and receive, this is where we can come back to to find our balance. So anyway, here's this song about my immediate connection with nature and I hope that it inspires you to find your way to bring yourself to balance, to harmony, to a place of peace. Spiral 
bird of flowers, a pillar of trees, all equal in power, all sacred to me. Refracted in color, condensed into white. Here the stars are turning the night, extending beyond the limits of sight. The limits of sight Too tiny to see Or far in the distance Or sacred to me I open my eyes To witness it all Whatever is big, whatever is small, whatever is big, whatever is small. So yeah, sometimes just slowing down, taking the time just to notice the details of the world around you, whether you're spring equinoxing or autumn equinoxing, we're connected. We're connected by nature and we can bring ourselves to center just by taking the time to notice the details. Now quickly, I'll show you my autumn equinox altar. I have some things that I grew myself, or Tim and I, some chilies, of course, we're in New Mexico after all, chilies and basil and an unripe tomato that I've picked now so the birds don't get it and I've been enjoying the rest on toast every morning and some mint and then this beauty, my friend Vicky Teague Cooper grew this gorgeous Navajo squash she's been sharing generously her produce with me this year it's always spectacular just like the blessed goddess pouring down her generous blessings Gaia earth of plenty and generosity and I have a delicious loaf of bread here from the Prairie Hill Cafe that I picked up this morning at the Plaza Hotel here in town in Las Vegas New Mexico most delicious bread in town and of course spring equinox is all about this energy of awakening right now we're gathering this is the last of the harvest but for you folk in Australia it's the opposite it's coming up out of a cold winter knowing that summer is on its way and the year is waxing from this point on for those of you in the southern hemisphere your days will become longer than your nights and for us in the north our nights will become longer than our days. I almost feel it's as though we've got a beautiful torch of sunlight and from the Northern Hemisphere, we're passing it across the equator to our friends in the Southern Hemisphere with an, a feeling of peace, with kindness, with generosity. That's what this time of year is about. No extreme, neither summer nor winter, but a mellow place midway between the two. I wish you a truly wonderful equinox for me here at 7.03 p.m. tonight on the east coast of the USA, 9.03 p.m. in the Pacific, 6.03 in Australian east coast. It's going to be 11 a.m. Friday morning, but this is the exact moment of the equinox when the sun moves into the sign of Libra. But really, these days, these couple of days, we've got that equinox energy colouring everything. May it bring peace and balance and love to your heart. Blessed be.